This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here with another part of my 2019 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. So yeah, part three. This part we're going to be continuing on with the Windows XP tour. We're going to be doing the second half of the tour, which includes unlock the world of digital media and the connected home and office. So yeah, with that being said, it's time to continue on. So yeah. Like always, gotta watch this Windows XP startup right here. See it? Windows XP startup. I love it. It's really cool to watch something like this. So, yeah. And no, I am not gonna be doing a cassette recording today or tomorrow, because I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. And today I also am busy with lots of other stuff, so, yeah. Gotta log in now. No wonder why I had to do that pretty quickly. Maybe this means that the Windows XP startup sound's going to come up pretty quickly because we're already up to the minute and it's going pretty quickly today. You see that? Really cool, huh? So the Windows XP startup sound's going to play any second now. See what I mean? I'm very glad I'm back to using this. Well, I mean, I am already back to using this. I mean, oh look. Seems that the desktop background came in there quickly after the startup sound. No wonder why I was quick when I did that. Oh, the task bar's here with the time. Wow, isn't that cool? I'm very pleased. Oh, look, the icons. Yippee. Now we're going to move on to part two of our Windows XP tour. So yeah, we're gonna get to the start menu now. Let's see what we could do. Man, this computer is starting to feel a little quick today. It's still slow, but I'm very glad it's not that slow as it was the last time, so I'm very happy. Man, I love Windows XP, but wait, it's still doing the same way as it did in the last part when I tried to roll the mouse over to the start button. But isn't it going to do it? I don't want to waste any more time. Viewers, I'll actually be right back. I don't want to take this long by trying to wait for this mouse button to have the light on the start button to glow. So, viewers, we will be right back. I'm just really hoping that the start menu could show up anytime soon. I just clicked on, like, the start button, but isn't anything showing up today? Uh, I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't see anything right here. There's this hourglass right here for a pointer. Is it waiting? I just started using this. What the heck is wrong with this? Uh, you know what, I, I don't even know. I tried to point. I tried clicking on an icon, but it's not even. Doesn't, oh, guess I'm fine. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't want to waste another minute. Viewers, be right back again. Wait, is the task bar actually working? I think it's actually working. goodness how long is this going to take for the computer to show the start menu all right viewers i'm back now the start button has been clicked and the start menu has been shown and look i see the tour windows xp button but isn't it going to be like highlighted or something i've got oh now it's finally time for us to do part two of this windows xp tour so, yeah, in case you viewers didn't know, someday I'll be, like, doing the full video to the Windows XP tour on my channel while being recorded to this Samsung tablet. So that way I'll be able to, like, show you the full tour on one video. So, although, I'm going to have to try my best. So, yeah. But we're going to be doing part two of this Windows XP tour on part three of this walkthrough. 
So, how long is this going to take? I've got to walk through to finish. I just clicked on the Windows XP tour, but oh, wait, I, oh. Oh, I could do this to make the computer go faster. That's really good. I can move the mouse like that. All right. And like always, we're going to do this with moonlighting. So let's turn the light off. Hopefully you guys are not too scared. I might be a little bit scared, but... Focus camera. Thank you. Now let's begin. Like always, we're going to be playing the tour. We're going to be playing the intro. I mean, uh, are we sure that we're going to be watching the intro to this? Man, this computer is being pretty slow. When is this going to load? I think it'll load anytime soon. It's going to come up soon, folks. I can really see it come through it, so... Here it comes, everybody. The Windows XP Tour intro. We're going to watch it, so... Yeah. Here it comes, everybody. Windows XP Tour is coming up right now. Uh, I said right now. Oh, here it comes, everybody. Windows XP Tour is right here, coming right now. Here it is. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft. That was pretty slow. New version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. I'm going to have to skip the Save intro for, for a minute. Um, viewers, I'll be right back. Alright, we're going to try again and see what we can do. Let's hope it doesn't go slow. There we go. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. See for yourself how easy Windows XP is to use. Take this brief tour. Safe and easy personal computing. Thanks to Windows XP, personal computing just got a whole lot easier and more fun. Unlock the world of digital media. Windows XP is your ticket to exciting digital media at home and on the internet. The connected home and office. Get connected. Windows XP makes it easy to share and link computers. And we're going to continue it off with Unlock the World of Digital Media. To begin the tour, click any selection. Here it comes, Digital Media. Unlock the exciting world of digital media at home, at work, and on the internet. Photography, music, videos, computer games, and more. Built-in photo sharing and organization. With Windows XP, viewing photos and sharing them with friends, family, and colleagues couldn't be easier. Just plug in your digital camera and your photos appear instantly, ready for you to edit, email, or print. You can even publish images directly to a website or save them on CD. Or send them to an online retailer for professional quality prints. Playing music, video, and CDs. Like listening to music and watching videos? Windows XP includes Windows Media Player, so it's a cinch to tune in internet radio download music or movies from the web, and watch streaming and video broadcasts. Of course, you can also play your own CDs. Windows Media Player makes it easy to create your own customizable jukebox. Just copy your personal CDs onto your computer or download music from the internet. Arrange selections in any order you'd want. Store the playlist, and the computer will play your selections back, one after another in any order you choose any time you like. You can even make your own CDs. Optimized for games and DVDs. The latest DirectX technology gives you the enhanced power, performance, and reliability that makes Windows XP great for playing computer games. Networking and internet features let you challenge competitors across the hall or across the globe. Enjoy watching DVDs, too. The next time you and your laptop share an airplane trip, why not take along one or two of your favorites to watch instead of the in-flight movie? Share files, photos, music, 
even a printer and internet connection, all on a network that's private and secure. Multiple users, a cinch to switch. With Windows XP, it's easier than ever to share a single computer among several users. Each person using the computer can create a separate password-protected account with personalized settings and private files. Multiple accounts can be live on the computer at the same time. Switching back and forth is fast and simple. If someone wants to check email while you're working, they simply switch over to their account. There's no need for you to close your programs and log off. The other user won't see your files while they're working, and when you switch back, you won't see theirs. You'll find the screen exactly as you left it. Networks, powerful and practical. Is there more than one computer in your home or office? Connecting them into a network boosts the abilities of every computer on the system. Make team efforts out of big projects like creating reports and spreadsheets. Free up space on smaller computers. Centralize large files like photos and music on one computer where they can be shared by everyone, even at the same time. Play multiplayer computer games on a whole new level with each player on a separate computer. Save money by sharing hardware. Network computers can share the same printer, scanner, fax, even the same internet connection. Family members can surf the web at the same time from different computers, all on the same phone line or other service. Let the wizard do the work. You don't need to be an expert. A wizard steps you through the entire process of setting up a network for your home or small business. Simply answer a few questions about the computers you wish to link and the wizard does the rest. Once your network is up and running, Windows XP stays on the job, tracking changes and making adjustments automatically, so you'll always get the best performance with the least effort. Data protection inside and out. Windows XP contains powerful new features designed to keep your computer network running no matter what. Sophisticated protection software guards each computer's operating system. It also establishes a protective barrier, or firewall, that shields the entire network from outside hackers and viruses spread over the internet. Okay, that's it for the tour. Let's turn the lights back on now. And I'm happy I did not have to hit my legs on the table that time. So now it's time for us to shut down this computer again. So let's turn it off. So yeah, that's about it for part three. Yeah, you know. Duh. Part three of my Windows XP home edition on the... Zelda Dimension 4600 walkthrough. Stay tuned next time for part 4, in which in case I'll be looking at some other stuff on there. So yeah. Thank you viewers for watching. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Seriously. I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, I will see you next time. Logging off, saving your settings, shutting down. Peace out everybody. This is Quentin Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off and shutting down this video as well. So, yeah. Turn off the speaker. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great time and have a great rest of your April. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out.